Hey Math 8, this is Mr. Bainey, and we're going to take a look at Hey, what's up, Math 1? We're going to take a look. Hello, this is Mr. Bainey. Hello there, Math 8. We're going to take a look at Lesson 7.2. And this is the second part of Lesson 7.2, which is solving equations with fractions in it. What you've learned before this includes solving equations that have decimals, that's the first part of this lesson, and also knowing how to solve equations that have variables on both sides. So you're gonna see that if you know how to do those, uh, solve those type of equations, that's gonna make this a whole lot easier. Uh, so the first thing is the steps to solving an equation that has fractions in it. The most crucial part of this is the very, very first step. Really, the rest of this is review. We've done this before. But multiplying by the LCD, the least common denominator, is going to help us deal with those fractions. And because so many students don't really like fractions, in the first step, we try to get rid of it. And if you, if you pick the correct LCD and you multiply it correctly, then should you should end up with no more fractions, all whole numbers. In example one, seven tenths n plus three halves equals three fifths n plus two. So the first thing is to identify the LCD. The LCD has to do with the denominators, least common denominators. So we have 10, two, and five. And you can think of what number does 10, two, and five go into? So if you're thinking of a number that divides by 10, 2, and 5 evenly. Or you can think of least common multiple. So the multiples of 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 2 is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, etc. 5 is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and etc. The LCD is whatever multiple they have in common, the smallest one, which happens to be 10 because the first multiple of 10 is 10 anyway. It can't be lower than 10. We're gonna take the uh, both sides of the equation, multiply it by 10. First, let me draw my line down the middle here. You always wanna draw your line down where the equal sign is so you can see very clearly where the left side is and where the right side is. And I'm not gonna write this work down, I'll just do it mentally. So we're doing 10 times 7 tenths. Here's one way you can think about it. 10 is the same as 10 over 1. So 10 is the number that's in the numerator on top. So you multiply it with 7. So we go 10 times 7. That's 70. 70 divided by 10 would be 7. And there's an n there. So we would put 7n. Then we do 10 times 3, which is 30. 30 divided by 2 would be 15. That's the first two. So we did sort of like using distributive property here. I'm going to do 10 times the first fraction on the left side, sorry, on the right side, and then 10 times the 2. So 10 times 3 would be 30, and 30 divided by 5 is 6. And we have an n that makes 6n. 10 times 2 will be 20. And there you have it. We now have an equation with just the whole numbers um, and in our coefficients, a 7n and a 6n, and uh, no more fractions. So then going down the steps that I went over, number 2 is using distributive property or combining like terms. And you're going to be skipping this step quite a bit, just depending on what lesson you're in, right, what type of problems you do. But we don't have any like terms here. We don't have any like terms here on the right side. We don't have mo any more parentheses where you can uh, distribute. So we're going to go step three, which is variables on both sides. Variables on both sides are 7n and 6n. So I like to do the smaller one. You can watch my video on lesson 7.1 on how exactly I solve these. But I'm going to make a 0 with a 6n. So 6n minus 6n is now gone. 
On the left, I have 7n minus 6n, which is 1n. I still have plus 15. I didn't do anything with that. And I still have the positive 20. This is now a two-step equation left over. My step four is to get rid of this constant that's uh, on the same set as the variable. The variable n is a, that's the, the one n is a variable term and the plus 15 is a constant. Remember that a constant is a number that does not have a variable with it. So we wanna get rid of that, make that a zero. We're left over with just one n on the left side. And then 20 minus 15 will give us five on the right side. 1n is the same as n, so n equals 5. If we were to check our answer, the method of doing that would be to take your original equation, 7 tenths times n. Instead of 7 tenths times n, it would be 7 tenths times 5, since we got 5 as our answer. Plus 3 halves equals Instead of 3 halves times n is 3 halves times 5, n plus 2. So this would come out to uh, 7 times 5, that would be 35 over 10. If you want to change it to a fraction, that's 3.5 plus 3 halves. Um, 3 fifths times 5 would be 15 over 5, which becomes a 3. Since these all come out to pretty manageable decimals, I'm going to change these to decimals. So 35 tenths is 3.5, 3 halves is 1.5, and then 15 bits is 3, 15 divided by 5, plus 2. So this will equal, because on the left side, this thing right here will equal 5. This will also equal 5. And that's it. So this is how we check our work. Example two. Draw a line down the middle. Identify the LCD. If the denominators are six and two and four, think about the multiples. Six would be six, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on. And then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And then 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. The least common denominator is 12. Because they all go into 12, or all they, they all have the multiple of 12 in their multiples. So multiply everything by 12. 12 times 5, and then divided by 6, that's 10. Y, 12 times 1 would be plus 12. And let's multiply on the right side. You got to be careful with the negative and with the, with the variables. Keep an eye on those. So we get negative 6Y when we multiply 12 times negative a half Y. And 12 times 1 fourth would give us a 3. My variables on both sides, negative 6y on the right, 10y on the left. I want to do the smaller one, or get rid of the smaller one, make it a 0. Since it's negative 6y, I want to do plus 6y. Then uh, 16y is what I have on the left, plus 12. That's still there. And the only thing on the right side is a 3. Next is to subtract 12 on both sides. Since, remember, the reason why I want to do that, I have the plus 12. That's uh, on the same side as the y. So the plus 12 is my constant. I have 16y. Then 3 minus 12 is negative 9. And last step, make that into a 1y. So divide by 16. We don't get a really nice answer here, but it is the answer. Negative 9 divided by 16, and your calculator should give you negative Point five six two five. If you want to check our answer, this one's not going to be work out as nicely, but it should still work. Five six times the negative 
0 0.5625 plus 1 equals negative 1 half times our answer y plus 1 fourth. I am going to just uh, have you finish checking that answer, but it should equal. Go ahead and try the your turns that I'll put up here. Here are two problems for you to try out. Go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to start working on these now. So uh, try them out before you see the answer. LCD for number one is nine, because the denominators are just three and nine. If I multiply everything times nine, nine times the first fraction, nine times one third, and then nine times one third x, and nine times this negative one here, here's what we get. One uh, x plus three, equals 3x minus 9. Probably the biggest mistake, those that get comfortable multiplying the fractions, forget to multiply the 9 times the non-fractions, right? 9 times the 1 here. And so they'll still have the 1 and then go through the problem. And then it, the answer will be correct because when you make a mistake near the beginning, the rest of it is just not going to work out um, the way it's supposed to. So then uh, I want to subtract 1x on both sides because I have the positive 1x. We have 3 on the left side, then 2x minus 9 on the right side. Since the x is on the right side, I have this minus 9 is my constant. So let's do plus 9. 12 is what I have on the left. 2x is it on the right, then the last step, divide by two, and our answer is x equals six. Number two. The LCD here is six because that is the least common multiple of our denominators. 6 times the first fraction will be 2x. 6 times 1 will be 6. 6 times this other fraction is 5x. And 6 times 3 is going to give us 18. 2x plus 6 equals 5x minus 18. My variables are 2x and 5x. I want to make a 0 with the 2x. Subtract 2x on both sides. 6 equals 3x minus 18. Let's add 18 to both sides. Okay, because the, uh, the constant there is minus 18. 24 equals 3x is our final equation. Before we do the last step, divide by 3. And x is going to give us 8. There are some problems, there should be some problems on the back of these notes. Feel free to try those out and check in with me on those if you uh, have any questions. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.